What is up everyone, it is Spromethius, and today I've got a confession to make. I'm going to admit something to you right here, right now. When it comes to brewing coffee, I've always been kind of a tryhard. I've always taken the more difficult, handmade route. Whether it's filter or espresso, I've just always been about that maximum effort life, but today we are going in a completely different direction, and I'm finally getting my hands on an automatic coffee brewer. But as a complete and total hipster, I can't use just any brewer. This is the Ratio 8. As you can see, like most coffee products focused on the specialty market, it looks great and it has the three main components that create an aesthetic appliance. Glass, wood, and metal. The holy trinity. In terms of its size, it sits at a substantial 14 inches tall and roughly the same amount in depth. But beyond its size and handsome looks, it's also supposed to brew a good cup of coffee. It boasts features that are supposed to mimic a pour over using a specially designed shower head and a programmed process that includes a bloom phase. But words are cheap, so let's see if its coffee lives up to its good looks. Considering how much focus and effort goes into brewing a proper pour over, I think using a home brewer should be pretty close to the exact opposite of that experience. Just prep up your filter, add your water, grind your coffee, and press start. And a few minutes later, you've got your coffee waiting for you. Also, it's pretty cool to watch it work. Drawing fresh water from the tank, flash heating, and then pulsing it onto the grinds. It seems to do a pretty decent job at saturating the grinds evenly, but in terms of agitation, it does seem to fall short. As you can see, the water essentially just sits on top of the bed, which, in the case of most pour overs, isn't great, and likely is just causing some water to bypass the coffee. Their choice to build it around a Chemex is a little odd to me. I feel like it was likely due to its ability to brew larger batches, but on the bright side you can slip an origami into it, which is what I ended up doing after I went through the included four Chemex filters. And if you think you can just put a different dripper and decanter down to brew, it won't actually run because some magnetic mechanism in the base. So as you've probably already realized, we are talking about a coffee brewer, so at this point we should talk about the coffee it brews. Surprisingly, the coffee the 8 produces can vary widely in quality. If you want to set it and forget it, you'll likely end up with a pretty under-extracted batch of coffee. My first handful of brews on the 8, at a coarse, which is their recommended size, and a medium coarse grind, were hovering around a watery and sour 15% extraction. After grinding a little finer and giving the bloom a good stir, the extraction kicked up dramatically to just over 20%. That jump of 5% in the extraction creates a night and day difference in that cup of coffee and results in something tasty and balanced. Of course, it's not as good as a masterfully produced competition grade pour over, but if you're serving a group of people or you're in a rush, it still makes an enjoyable cup. Arguably like all of the products I've reviewed on this channel, the Ratio 8 is imperfect. I think aesthetically it's beautiful, and on the counter it will outshine most if not all other home brewers. But I don't think that's what most of its buyers or potential future buyers really want. It's just an added benefit. Considering its $500 starting price, it really falls short on those lofty expectations. Its difficulty in extracting your coffee without manual input is a pretty big flaw for an automatic brewer. And considering its premium feel, build, and price, I would have liked to see more features and adjustability, like brew temperature and maybe even pulse control. Even though I haven't tried their smaller option, the 6, I think it may have a superior design because it utilizes a flat bottom filter, plus it's less expensive. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Of course, it's a little bit shorter than my usual reviews, but there aren't a lot of features and things to cover on this brewer. But I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about home brewers? If you have a ratio 6 or ratio 8, I'd love to hear your thoughts because, like I always say, this is just one man's opinion. And if you have any burning questions about the ratio 8 or anything I talked about today, drop them in the comment section down below, and I'll see y'all next week.
And a big thank you to the July Patreons, Ads, Jacob P, Christopher, Squeegee Rowe, Brian, Andre, Sean Noel, Spookus, Samantha, Claire, Stephen, Alexis, Josh B, Bound Copy, James K, Josh Horson, Corey C, Curry, Jeff Broth, Joey N, Thomas B, UK Espresso, Tim, Jason C, Jerry, Matt Ray, Home Barista Coach, Gumby, Zachary V, Robert Underdunk, Jeffrey R, BJK Cafe, Daniel P, Mike B, Brian M, Tyler M, Barista Michael, Sebastian, Matthew C, JRC, Arthur L, Absolute Stephen G, Jose, Lauren, Keefe, and Stephen A. And of course, a big thank you to the Barista and Barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And of course, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram at Spermetheus for content throughout the week. My blog at Spermetheus.com. My coffee at LittleGiant.coffee. And as always, stay caffeinated. Pony boy. <laughs>